They don't want to see me rise No They just want to see me fall When I be giving my all I'm just going to do it my way Hey everybody, this is Moadi bringing you video 2 of the repo generator uh, and this one here is going to be covering the actual use of it uh, for creating the initial repo uh, add-on for Cody uh, to adding uh, more add-ons to your repo updating them how all that works and covering that for you so uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it uh, right off the bat we're going to see the config I and I all right, go ahead and open this up real quick. All right, as you can see here, it's already set up for the tutorial information. All right, same thing with the template XML, which is what it's going to use to create the initial add-on XML for the repo itself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close these out and get right to it. So we're going to type in CMD up here in the bar in Explorer. And go ahead and run the generator. Now it's going to come back, print some information for us. Uh, this being the first time it's being ran on a clean repo, it's going to have to generate the repository add-on. You see here, that's what it did right here: create repository add-on. Then it generated the zip file. Uh, since it did just create it, there's no default icon of fan art created for the repo. So you'll notice here it did report that there was an icon file missing and fan art file missing for repository.tutorial. All right, and that's just a warning. It's nothing critical. It doesn't mean nothing uh, was done. It just meant it went to copying, but it didn't see them, so it's telling you. Uh, that's just kind of a, a heads up, you know, to, to let you know, hey, you may want to create these and put them in that folder. All right, after it's done, it'll say it's finished updating the files. And it's going to throw a reminder out there to double check your MD5 hash file, and I'll cover that later on in the video, uh, on a website. If you're familiar with these repository generators, then you're aware that pretty much none of them create the hash file correctly. And that's because it treats it like a text file rather than a binary file. And I've updated mine so that it does treat it as the correct file type, and everything's been done to fix that. So it should generate those fine, but it never hurts to double check your work, does it? All right, that's the main reason I, I keep that message in there as a reminder to always double check it because if the hash is wrong, then Cody won't download from that repo. All right, it thinks the files are corrupt or they're, they're not the right copy, so it won't download them. Uh, and that's the purpose of that. So we'll cover that later on, showing you how to, to double check them and all. So I'm going to close this out and show you what's new now that we ran that. Right, if we go to the root of the repo for my GitHub folder, we're going to see now there's a repository.tutorial, which this is a source code folder. This is you know, how it looks inside Kodi, which at this point it just has the add-on XML. Uh, that's what was generated by the tool. So there's no icon or fan art or anything. You can add them in there if you want. Completely up to you. Then in the zips folder, underscore zips, all right? Uh, whatever you put in for the folder name and the config I and I, it'll add that underscore at the front of it. That way it's always at the top of your folder list. And you're gonna notice it's got the repository.tutorial, which has the XML, the icon if it's there, the fan art if it's there, and then the current repository.tutorial uh, zip file for that version it'll always have a dash in the version at the end so then it creates the add-ons XML which is what tells Cody what's in your repo uh, and then it has the add-ons XML MD5 this is that hash file alright so anytime you run this I recommend just right clicking on the MD5 open it in notepad and then we're gonna go to a site such as let me get some things brought up here online md5 is a big one all right that's the one i use anyway i'm going to bring this over here go to online md5.com
and it's really easy to, to check it because all we have to do is go back to the folder and drag it out here while I'm still holding the mouse I'm going to go back to the web page just drop it in this white box up here and there's the hash that it made for us ends in 98B7 so I'm going to go back here and it is 98B7 alright so all that looks good alright it created the right hash for us so we know that's good now alright nothing else we've got to do there so I'm going to go ahead and leave this open for when we check them later just move it off the screen here for us now if you want to add another add-on let's say you finish an add-on and it's not your repo yet you want to add it so we're going to go up here to the root of our repo you know you'll see the the repository the zips and the tools and I'm going to copy one over here let me uh, open up another explorer window here to find one and it's over here get it out of the way I think out of my repo I'm just gonna grab the grab a couple here and grab trepidation fitness zone and auto rides I'm just gonna copy them it's gonna paste them in here now this is the source code guys this is what it looks like inside your Cody add-ons folder it's the actual full source code and the reason I chose the ones that is because some of these have the PSD files, the things that I have on my exclude list. And I want to show that in action for you to show you how it skips those. So this one here, auto runs, it's got this, you know, it's the full source code, like I said. Trepidation, as you can see, there's a PSD file. Uh, then, of course, under resource media, there's a whole bunch of PSD files. Um, we got those in there. All right. So what we want to do here, whenever you go to, <clears throat> excuse me, do an update to an add-on, you're ready to commit it. You're ready to push it up to your GitHub or you're adding a new one like I just did. You want to go ahead and just, just delete the zips folder. All right. Just delete it. And you don't have to commit it to your GitHub when you delete it. Uh, you just delete it. It's gone. Now we rerun the tool script. Alright, so you can either double click on it if you have Python installed correctly, or I like to open the command window for it because um, then if there's any errors or anything, it stays up on the screen and I can see those and it makes it easier to work with it. I'm going to run that here and take it just a moment. All right, if you notice, you're, you see here where it's going through and generating the zip files needed. All right, and of course, again, it told me the icon files missing for repository.tutorial because I never did add it. Uh, shows that the fan art's missing for auto runs. Then it said it finished, and then of course, gives the, the uh, constant uh, alert for checking the hash. So we go up down here into zips, and we're now going to see one for each one. All right, as you can see here, it's got the add-on XML from the add-on, the fan art, and the icon. And then, of course, it's got the appropriate zip file for it. So let's look at trepidation. Let's open this zip file. Because if you remember, I had them PSD files in my source code. So, you know, most repo generators, all that's going to get included. So with ours... If you notice there's no icon.psd it skipped that because it's not something that's needed for it and I had it in my exclusions so it did not include that in there and that's why I put that excludes list in here because you know it's all about keeping your stuff together you don't want to have all your icon files at, on your desktop or in another folder and then have to keep copying them out and then losing track of them this way you can put them right where you need them your PSD files or GIMP raw files or you know whatever format that you're editing them in before you save them as a PNG or a JPEG uh, or MP4 if it's a, a little video file you know doing a build 
uh, all that can be left right there with it and then when you build the repo files it will not include those if you keep it an accurate excludes list now for the most part the default list will work fine for you uh, if you start adding other files in there that that are work in progress files like the PSD Photoshop files uh, but for other applications then you may want to put in a comma period and file extension that way it skips those on that line and I covered that in the other video so it, if you're unfamiliar with the excludes uh, if you open the config INI it's self-explanatory when you look at it I've got a bunch of them in there that should always be skipped or recommend always skipping and that way you don't have to worry about it but that's it now if you update something let's say you've gone in here and you've edited uh, trepidation uh, and I've added some some more movie lists or I've updated the code and I, therefore I've updated the the add-on version number then it's the same thing I just delete the zips folder uh, entirely and then run the repo generator again it does all the work for me boom it's done I'm ready to commit it to git uh, then when I commit it to github or upload it to the website where I'm storing it or wherever it's good to go everything's done so it's literally just cleaning out that folder and I guess I could put in a delete for it but you know I may do that down the road who knows or make it an option you know put it in the config I and I you know do you want to delete the zip folder every time and leave it at that but uh, I just think that you know it's this is a tool to help make things easier on you as a developer especially if you're someone that's just getting into Cody you're not very familiar with the way repos work and keeping them maintained this is something to help automate a lot of the process and make it easier for you so you don't have to worry about the little ins and outs on that now of course as I learn more about them I may expand this more uh, you know I've only been in uh, the Cody community since last fall I've only been learning Python since last fall uh, as I work on things you know but I, I do have a developer background in other programming languages so that's why I, I pick up on things so quick and and try to put stuff like this out there updated uh, from other people if, if it helped me to help you all right that's my drive behind that so that's really it on this I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here and double check that hash file real quick because like I told you always double check it and I'm gonna bring up the online md5 hash site all right grab the new add-ons XML all right b7 d7 so let's double check that one B77 you know it ends in that so it's a, a exact should be an exact match um, generally you can just check the last four because if they match the rest of it should match because the way hash works all right so there shouldn't be a problem with that so as you can see here all the zips are good you know everything's uh, squared away after running that uh, the reason I uh, always say delete this folder by the way is because sometimes it may not override it uh, a, file, a zip file or an add-ons file may not pull something correctly because of that so as quick as the script is even if you have a large repo it's worth it to just go ahead and delete it and let it rerun through everything rather than having to, to pick and choose uh, it takes no time I mean you've seen how quick that runs most of the time it takes longer for the script to initialize and actually start than it does go through uh, a lot of it uh, I've used this on skins that that were close to 80 meg and it still goes through pretty quick even on this old computer so it, it's definitely you know worth it to to take that extra precautionary step delete the zips folder each time run it and you're good to go so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video out for you guys uh, it's Saturday it's actually warm here and I've got a lot of stuff to get done today so I'm trying to get this video out for you guys today since I did the other one yesterday morning and uh, hopefully I'll see y'all later in the day who knows I may get another video or two out uh, this weekend depending on how things go so if you have any questions you can hit me up in telegram Twitter um, 
email email is going to be in the description below uh, leave a comment I do everything I can to, to try to answer questions I appreciate all the comments y'all always leave on both my channels so I'll see y'all later bye thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you liked it be sure to leave a comment down below click like in the corner and subscribe to my channel thank you very much